What's good, Zappy Nation? Welcome back to another video. It is time to get comfy, and I'm talking stop D dog level comfy. Because we have an absolutely amazing review for you today. People have been telling me that this card is actually better than the Debrina card. And honestly, I didn't think any card could be better than that. So I'm definitely excited to try it out. And at the very least, we may win some games. We may lose some games. But what we are going to do 100% is rainbow flick some people with this new 104 overall Neymar card. Definitely excited to try this card out. I did a few gameplay with it before, but we're going to forget about it because it was one of those days, you know, when you go in a head-to-head -head and you just don't have a fun time uh I'm, I'm sure you know nothing about that uh we're gonna go into this we're gonna play some gameplay we're gonna get some uh games going on with neymar and we're gonna get into this and see how it goes the most important thing with these 104 cards first of all as we go into this is they are dropping a lot in price each day when this will stop i'm not sure um i no one can really predict what they're gonna go down to in the end but we do have another highlight player that people are gonna be able to claim for free coming up um so i still would think that they're gonna drop more than this 21 million that they're at right now um so you got a bunch of cards um i have been finding that it's fairly easy to uh to sell these cards um because they are selling fairly quickly you're not going to lose a lot so if you did want to try a few of them out you, there is that possibility of trying a few of them out um as you go through this so we're going to try and find the cheapest one that we got we got one for uh 604 there this one's 608 so we'll do 21 608 um so we'll pick up this neymar card and we're gonna go into the team we're gonna add him onto the squad i'm on my uh my final squad we played our final match in the fifa droid tournament um against dj mixed food we did end up with a three to one loss in there um we scored the first goal i thought maybe we'd be able to finally get a victory um but it did not happen for us at that time but a great matchup um big respect to dj mixed food um as always in that tournament as we go into here we see neymar 137 140 140 140 uh 140 short uh 118 long pass that's the one thing where i think that i'm gonna find him a little bit uh not as great as the de Bruyne card is with a less of a long pass i feel like he's gonna be more of the playmaker himself um and or more of the the player to do the the ball movement himself versus the playmaker um that i felt that we had when we had that de Bruyne card uh, he's got 140 dribbling 136 ball control uh great agility great reactions uh i think he's about the same level of strength as the de Bruyne card um he's got i i think actually a little bit better heading though not very aggressive um and not a ton of balance uh but he does have the position boost which gives him finish short passing sprint speed shot power and dribbling their high attack work rate and only medium defensive work rate so i'm thinking he's going to be more on the attacking end where de Bruyne was more of that all around kind of card that we had he's got the rainbow um he's got selfish flare speed dribbler and outside foot uh shot so i think if you can get him in a position where you can get him on some runs he will be helpful with that but i just feel that he's going to be a player that's not necessarily going to be in that position because he doesn't have that attribute um of playmaking uh right yeah okay i was like maybe, maybe i just miss reading it all right so as always with the reviews we'll try out a few games with them see how he plays over a course of a couple games um kind of get used to him a little bit first as we go through first matchup 142 all right here we go starting this one up drogba is gonna lay that out to adama adama to kimmick uh, Neymar so he does have some yeah he's got some definitely quick movement there uh, he's got the rainbow flick come on rainbow flick it thank you I wish he had advanced rainbow I'm kind of sad that that he doesn't have the advanced rainbow flick um, like the uh, like his other version oh my goodness what are my team doing what is my team doing what is my team doing finally one of my uh, players decided he wanted to actually uh, play some defense there okay here we go Neymar let's watch that ball Sancho doesn't go where we want it to go but it eventually gets to Drogba Drogba puts it into the middle nice play here Neymar rainbow flicks it up he tries to head it what were you doing okay I don't think the choice that he should have done when the ball was in that position was headed but I'm I, I can't judge I can't judge it across to Aubameyang but Aubameyang is not on it but we've made some big space for Neymar Neymar with nice control just couldn't put it in after good work to stay on the ball there Bayern gets it to Adama Adama to Aubameyang Aubameyang gets it to Sancho Sancho to Aubameyang Aubameyang to Neymar Neymar with two defenders gets the shot big shot right there from Neymar to get that shot off nice control to get the ball so he does he's able to play pretty well with that one um unfortunately I probably should have tried to get a shot off with him I just want to get one like really nice shot from the top of the box uh, but he controls well um I, I haven't i can't say that there's anything that i'm i'm overly impressed with about the card like he doesn't stand out i feel like the same way i felt that the de Bruyne card stand uh, stood out um certainly a good card um and certainly a card that i that i'm that i'm happy with using 
Um, I just don't know that he's, you know, he's as standout as, as the De Bruyne card uh, that, that I found. Um, and, and a lot of that, I think, is the off-ball positioning. I haven't seen him in the position he needs to be in as much as I saw it with the, with the De Bruyne card. Oh, good run there from Neymar. Okay, that's what you got to do. You just got to say it. And then he's going to do it. Oh, try the fake shot. Okay, here we go. Sancho on the run. Sancho on the run. I wanted to get the goal with Neymar, but I also want to win, so we'll put one in with Sancho. Rainbow flicks past Royce. Nice work there. Rise of the roulette. Can't get past him, but stays on it. Okay, good play there from Neymar. Fake shots it to get back. Stays on the ball. Stays on the ball. Kim, it gets there. Uh, how was that against me? Neymar on that. Rainbow flicks it up. He just got Rooney there. Two players on him. Royce on that. Gets to the top of the box. Stops and turns it. Gets the shot. Big shot right there, but couldn't go through the defenders. We will take a corner right now. Move it to the attacking formation. Roberto Carlos going to take it. I do find that one thing that I do like about the card is he doesn't give up on the ball. So if you notice there... Um, we had him lose the ball and then when he loses the ball, he still pressures it like he still goes after it I find that a bit of an advantage over the De Bruyne card I didn't find that De Bruyne did that as much like he he did kind of he's in good position Oh big strike from Neymar right there big strike from Neymar to put in the back of the net Um, but like I said like I feel that the De Bruyne card is is quite constantly in the position you need him to be in. Why I don't see that with Neymar, what I do find is that if Neymar loses the ball, he's definitely a player to try and pick that ball up after, go back after that ball, um, and, and try and, like, you know, make the play still. So even if he loses it, he does have a good second effort there. All right, so again, our opponent quits. We'll just see what happens when we autoplay. I think this is like a section in all of these things. How do they play by themselves? Here we go. Drogba to Neymar. Let's see Neymar, what he's going to do. Oh loses it to party there come on neymar actually that's pretty good play back very good defensive play actually there from neymar on the autoplay side of things um so sancho gets it to drogba drogba's gonna play around with it right to sancho but he can't get there but neymar's on it and just can't get the shot off in time um so his autoplay is actually quite good it's like the test again is is autoplay better than stop d except nowadays autoplay is actually like one of the top players in head-to-head -head. like you're not gonna get many better players in head-to-head -head than autoplay um because they're the best at abusing the mechanics that's good play, actually. That was good defensive play from Neymar. I'm actually quite impressed with that defensive effort from Neymar. Uh, one thing I might do is I might throw this into attacking and see if I get some better work from them on the attacking. Oh, I help out. I think I just tapped that out of bounds. That was my bad. Avers one on one with Sancho. Great jockey in there. Goes for the cross, but Nesta will pick that up to Neymar. Neymar brings it to a bombing. Okay, bombing. Back to Neymar. Back to Neymar. Oh no! See Neymar forward momentum. Go Kimmich. Aubameyang taken down hard uh referee I'm not even playing so I got a clear look at that and they go over the top Roberto Carlo oh my goodness if that had gone in if that had gone in no 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 what it was legitimately going to be their throw in why would you let it go out he like watched it go out it was like as if he had no idea that it wasn't our ball. And if they score and win this game because of that, which I think they're going to. Oh my goodness. Oh, Black just saved the day. I gotta go defending. I gotta go defending. I'm a little worried about this now. I'm a little worried about this now. Auto playing was a bit of a mistake. Come on, Pio. Win the header. Win the header. Win the second header. Okay, I'll take it. Gonna double tap it, move it close up. Here we go. Nice little roulette there to pick up that speed. Takes the strike, can't get it. But again, see that's what I'm saying. I pulled off. That was a that was a user pull off there. Um, but he uh, he goes after the ball if he loses it. So as soon as he loses the ball, um, he definitely has that attacking mind to go back after it, which I'm which I'm a big fan of. So here we go. Gerard tries to make that play. Davies goes with that play. Gets into the box. Oh, gets past Gomez. Should have taken that shot. I really didn't. They're just slide tackling all over the place. I really didn't know that they were going to do that. Okay, yes. Yes, Neymar. Oh, Drogba. Get that ball through. Wanted to get it to Neymar. Nice positioning. Nice finish. And you know, I will say that about Neymar. One thing I really, really like about that Neymar card is that first touch. A lot of players, I find that when they take that first touch, it goes like five feet away from them. Um, he's got a very, very, very smooth first touch, um, which is a huge, I think, advantage for a card that you're trying to get in the box there for your cam card. Um, so like I say, I like the card. Do I think that he's, you know, he's a card that is above and beyond all the rest of the cams? No. As he starts to drop a bit more in price, I do think that he's 
is going to be, you know, definitely a card that, that's worth thinking about picking up. Um, I don't think, in my mind, I don't see him as a better card than De Bruyne. I see De Bruyne as that better all-around card, and, and that's something I feel like I... I liked a bit better, um, but of course, you know, if you want to go for a, a PSG squad, if you're going for a Brazilian squad, if you just love Neymar, um, he's, he's a great card to have on the team. If you like rainbowing, flicking people, um, you know, all the time and just saying, you know, going around going up, someone is yelling rainbow flick as you rainbow flick over them. I think that, you know, he's probably the card for you, um, but uh, I, I don't know that he is... Uh, necessarily the best cam that I've that I've used in this game. All right, let's give him the tie. Um, so we might as well give him a draw. I don't really need the points for a win. Oh, they threw a laughing face at me? Okay, never mind. You try to do something nice for somebody, and they laugh at you. Martinez, nice through ball, but yeah. Lukaku, not gonna be able to get that one over Nesta. Good play there, Neymar. Nice ball from Neymar. Um, he's got good short passing. I think that's definitely helpful in that situation. Here we go, Drogba. Gets it to Neymar. Neymar at the top of the box. Neymar at the top of the box. Big strike, Neymar. Big goal, Neymar. I love to see it. So already he's trying to put on that skills show at the end of this one. Huge goal right there from Neymar uh, as we go in and get the first one there. So he gets into that good spot. He takes the strike. He's got a wicked finish. I will definitely say that about him. He has an absolutely unreal finish right there. Brogba. All right, so there you have it. The 104 overall highlight Neymar card. Um, he's definitely a good card in game. He's got a great first touch. I love that first touch. Um, I love his shot. He's got a very powerful shot. Very good shot. I think he would be, if you play verse attack, I could see him being a very good card for verse attack because um, he's really like, he's got a very accurate shot. He's able to get some quick ball movement. He's got a good first touch, which oftentimes I find in verse attack is a bit of an issue for me. Um, is, is cards that don't have that good first touch. He's not in the same like positioning level as that De Bruyne card. Um, especially defensively um, did ironically play some good auto play defense it's just when he's off the ball and you're controlling doesn't seem to always be where you necessarily want him to be he's got a pretty good pass um, you know was really good at finding people in open space um, I definitely say he is a good card and I think once he goes down a little bit in price um, especially if you are a, a fan of Neymar um, if you're a fan of PSG if you're a fan of making a Brazilian squad whatever that is he's gonna be a good card that's gonna fit that squad um, and he's gonna be a fairly inexpensive card to fit that squad and if you've been playing along with the promo you get two free cards uh so definitely he's not a bad choice i would say neymar and uh, de Bruyne are probably uh top two if i'm comparing to the four that i've already used in my mind um but uh, there you have it i don't love him as much de Bruyne, but i do like the card um i do think he's got some definitely some positive things about the card um and he definitely is a fun card to use and an excellent excellent first touch so thank you for checking this out and stopping by been a pleasure as always stop deep out